Hello, everybody. No, because here's the thing. If I do that, it just creeps people out. I was doing a play on what you did last time, but it's too yep. much. That's going to turn yes. people off. It is. But either way, you're still here. Uh, I'm Will, and with me, as always, is Josh. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some E3 predictions, which is what people do. We You do a prediction one, and then you follow it up with... Uh, this is what actually happened. It's easy content. It is. And uh, we, we got our Patreons um, involved this time, so we have a whole bunch of things uh, directly from them mere hours ago. Yes, mere hours ago. And if you want to be part of uh, this little crew we have, you can jump on over to patreon.com slash each to their own. Just a buck will get you into our super secret Discord, and then we can chat about things. You could be a part of this very podcast. Well, at least your words could be. Come be our friends. But before all that stuff, Joshua, it's news time. Which is where a graphic or something would be, but it's audio, plus we don't have an audible graphic. So we'll just go, it's news time. Ba-ba-ba-ba, news. That's it. The the only thing I've got is uh, something most people probably already know, is Robert Patterson has been confirmed as Batman for a Batman trilogy. Yes. Hmm. You probably actually know much more about this than I do. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You know as much as everybody else knows exactly what right. we said. Patterson is Batman. It might be a trilogy. And Matt Reeves is still directing slash writing slash Ben Affleck's writing. Who knows who's writing this thing? Oh, um, man. But that's about it. Seriously, all we have confirmed is Matt Reeves and Patterson. And I'm I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for another trilogy, another Batman trilogy. A more, I feel, comic booky Batman trilogy. Yes, yes. And when you when you actually told me this on, I think it was Friday night, yeah. you mentioned that there was going to be, like, different villains and stuff? Is that, yeah. is that confirmed as well, or was that that's, just, like, a prediction on your part? That's another heavy rumour that's going around. I don't know where it comes from, but the, I think the, the initial rumour was Penguin, Catwoman, and Riddler, possibly, for the first film. That's cool, because we, we haven't seen them for quite a while, not since the 80s slash 90s. Yeah, totally. They just have to make sure that, like... Like the 90s versions they just don't take it too seriously and they just yeah. have a whole bunch of fun just be silly like the the batman villains like you riddlers and and mm. penguin and stuff they're ridiculous characters like yeah. they're just insane um so just go over the top with them have mm. a whole bunch of fun don't make it too serious like all the other dc movies or uh, go hard in the silly with them but keep Batman the like the serious part. Yeah, absolutely. You could go with the you know dark Batman brooding and stuff, but the villains are always like the Arkham games. Basically, Batman's not as goofy as the villains. At, you know, in the, like the nineties films, like you said, in those he's still the serious mm. Batman. But all the villains are a little yeah. bit over the top. So just just do the Arkham games, really. Yeah, pretty. Oh man, I would love a Arkham <laughs> film series. Oh, that'd be sick. Mm. Uh, something that is. I guess sick is that Rick Flag <laughs> is confirmed to be back for the Suicide Squad. Uh, Great. And played by Joel Kinnam, who played him in Suicide Squad, which means this is the softest reboot ever. It's so soft. It really soft. is. What the hell? So who's, who's like, permanently in now? Amanda Waller and Rick Flag. Harley? No. Really? No. Well, she's not part of this film. She's not being recast or anything. She's because she's in the Birds of Prey film, so she's already she's already confirmed elsewhere. Sure. Um. And yeah, Deadshot is not in the film at all because they don't want to recast Will Smith's one. So mm-hmm. I guess that means he's still Deadshot, but just he's not in this one. Idris Elba might be in this film. It's all very strange. That's weird. But James Gunn, so you know. But James Gunn, please, please give us. Fine. Give us a good one. Um, one that yeah. might be good now is Sonic, because that's being delayed till 2020. Good choice. It is, it is, but it's also... I've seen a lot of people online sort of say this is a scary thing to happen, that the internet has such a strong, strong voice that it can delay a movie by half a year. Mm. It's it, Yeah, it's kind of terrifying, and I... I would not want this to be the norm. It's, it's probably good, like, visually, I'm sure, like, hopefully... They uh they get it right second time round, but mm-hmm. the delay is just a it seems like a bit of a scary notion for the future. It's it's again, I just think that this film was never coming out this year. I'm just so in denial of that they actually thought that was ever gonna look any good on film and that it's mm. just there is no I just can't believe that they put that thing out into the wild without the intention to always release next year. Like it it has to be gorilla I just 
It has to be guerrilla marketing. I just can't believe that a studio would have approved that. Yeah, it would it would be very interesting to hear in the future whether yeah, if they if they release more information on that, that would be a visual effects artist is totally gonna be like, ah, I don't care if I get killed. Like, I'm gonna talk. Yeah, at some point someone will drop something. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, the uh, director of the film did write, hashtag, no VFX artists were harmed in the making of this movie, which implies that everyone's being paid. It's not a Red Dead anthem situation where people are under the pump for no extra money. It's like, yes, I assume people have just got a whole new contract. Um, just quickly on games, I just, I just remembered something else that I have just forgotten about. <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Someone realized, or there was an article I read this week, basically saying that Anthem uh, was supposed to drop some new stuff, uh, like a cataclysm. There was some, like, rumor in the game and outside of the game uh, from previous press releases about um, a a cataclysm, massive, like, multiplayer event happening inside Anthem, and there is no word on it whatsoever. (laughs) Um, online, apparently on their website, they have like a, the, the path of what they're doing with Anthem Mm -hmm. and nearly everything has been delayed. Um, a lot of what they're doing, except the cataclysm. It still says coming May, Strange, but we've left May. No one's, no one said yes or no to that yet. And Mm -hmm. there's been no word of it. And that it's the end of May. We're done. Yeah. It's gone. What happened? And to add to that, uh, they in like the things that are coming to their E3 EA Play conference, Anthem's not on the list. Mm. So didn't they drop out? Didn't Anth- uh, EA drop out of EA? E3? EA similar to what they do most years is they they're outside of the convention, but they're still doing stuff. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, yes. Yeah. No sign of Anthem anywhere. None of that, which is you know probably for the best. We can just all. <laughs> pretend that didn't exist let's put that under the ground yeah but something that isn't under the ground is teslas because they don't run off fossil fuels they're good boys they're electric um and (laughs) something that you can play on them is cuphead what yeah so the devs have uh they're working on a port of the game only for the model x model s and model 3 uh only the first island will be playable but you can play it on little on your screen in the Tesla. Good. I'm so glad it's those ones because those are the three cars that I pre-ordered. Yeah, I know, right? I was worried it was going to be on the Model 2. Yeah, good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so if you see anyone driving around in their Tesla on autopilot with a controller in the hand, you know what they're doing. They're, they're playing some Cuphead. I'll be so jealous. I'll just ram their car for, <laughs> yeah, screw for you, the lols. You. I mean, they can pay for the damages. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You've got a Tesla. Yeah, and I don't really care that much about my car. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's fine. It's falling apart. Just write it off now. Yeah, look, it'll be worth it. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has a new show. Okay. It's called Superhero Cop. As you remember, Kindergarten Cop was a film. This is Superhero yeah. Cop. Uh, oh. it's, an, it's an animated series. Uh, it's written by oh. Deadpool co-creator Fabian. Oh. That's a last name that I can't say. And mm. to top it all off, mm. it was spawned from many conversations between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Stan Lee. Oh! Yeah! (laughs) What? Uh, There's a quote here. I'm going to do an Arnold accent. Stan and I talk many times about various different ideas. I'm so happy that this is the one that we really clicked and start... What it? I mean, I know he doesn't speak perfect English, but that's that's not a sentence. And started creating a vision. It was phenomenal to see his brain working. So, a Stan Lee, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Deadpool co-creator animated series about Kindergarten Cop. What the hell? That's absolutely insane. Hey, yep. whatever happened to the Twins <laughs> yeah, remake with... Uh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. What happened to that? I want I that know. movie. I'll take this first, but yeah, where'd that go? I want that before this or or the next Terminator. Oh man! Well, that's the next story. Well, let's let's just move straight on to that. Yeah. So in the same week, we got a trailer for both Terminator number two and three five and Rambo number seven four. Um, is there a Rambo one? Yes. So we got a Rambo what? trailer for Rambo: Last Blood, which is assumedly the final Rambo because it's got the word "last" in it, um, <laughs> and also Terminator: Dark Fate, which is. Uh, James Cameron's return to the franchise, thank God. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, I guess um, Star Wars The Last Jedi was the last uh, Star Wars film ever, so 
I guess it, it makes sense that Rainbow is going to end here. Yep, he's, it's going to yep. finish. Uh, it's going to be the least satisfying end to a franchise ever. Mm-hmm. Um, Very good. But yeah, I love the fact that in the same week, we, it was, I was like, oh, cool, Terminator, maybe that'll be okay. And then, like, two days later, they were like, hey, Rambo. I'm like, Jesus Christ, is there Creed <laughs> 3 around the corner? What's going on? Yeah, like, no one asked for these things. <laughs> no. Why no, do they we, keep happening? I enjoyed Terminator Genesis as the idea that it was another film, but it just didn't work. So I think we're all done. There was a well, there was a Rambo film, like, four years ago as well that was like, the end. Uh, really? And it's still going, yeah. Did it have Schwarzenegger in it? Well, no, it had Sylvester Stallone. That makes that made sense. <laughs> um, but speaking of old people, Star Wars Galaxy Edge uh, opened up last week, and Mark Hamill, Billy D. Williams, George Lucas, Harrison Ford, and Bob Iger were all there with some fireworks and stuff. What a beautiful thing. Uh, it would have been beautiful if the pyrotechnics guy had gotten his cue <laughs> right. Um, oh, great. It's a great moment. Harrison Ford standing there, quite emotional. Uh, and he says something like, Peter, uh, which was Chewbacca, and then clearly it was supposed to be, Peter, this is for you, hits the Falcon, fireworks go off, it's like he's kick-started the Falcon with the hit, like the old thing, he goes, Peter, mm-hmm. the fireworks go off, he goes, this is for you, and hits the Falcon, nothing happens. <laughs> then there's like a beat, and he goes, oh well. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's an amazing... If you can find the video, it's great. It's, it's just worth watching for the oh well. Mm. Oh, uh, man. We, <laughs> that was just the rest of our Friday. It was just, yeah. oh well. Oh well. Uh, very oh, good. amazing. Just to top off the crazy news that this is, the Arnold Schwarzeneggers, the Rambos, the everything, uh, mm. the screenwriter Zach Stitz... People have to just get better names. Uh, <laughs> the writer of First Class, the X-Men film, revealed on Kevin Smith's podcast that in 2011, just hold on to your everythings, uh, he worked on a script for an X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Daredevil film. What? Uh, they were planning, they were like, X-Men First Class did well, so why don't we uh, make a film with everything we own? Why not? I mean, the Marvel thing's doing well over there, so let's take this. It was also going to have Paul Greengrass, the director of the Bourne films, he was going to direct it. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. So an X-Men Fantastic Four and Daredevil film. It was Daredevil Fox? It was for a while. They sold it off, obviously. 2011, yeah, right. well before um, the Netflix series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, so that was almost a movie. Don't know how that would have panned out. That's crazy. I want that movie now. <laughs> I just want everyone to just be together doing weird crap all yep. the time. I want the alternate timeline where that came out and Amazing Spider-Man 3 and the Black Cat film and the Sims yes. 6 film. I want that timeline. I'll just dip mm. over there and watch those things. Oh, please. <sighs> miss Andrew Garfield. I miss him. I just miss him in general. He's not in anything anymore. No, the last thing I saw him in, he was quiet for the whole film. Oh. He played a monk uh, and had a vow of silence, so that's why he was quiet. I think the movie was called Quiet. No, it was called Silence. Close. <laughs> Pretty close. But something that is also close is E3, so why don't we dive in over there and talk about some of the cool stuff that might be coming up. Uh, we are so close. There are a few... Uh, there's been a few announcements so far. One of them is probably Will and my most anticipated game of the last three years. <laughs> yeah. uh, we finally have an announcement that we will be getting our first... Our, our, <laughs> our first look... Oh my Jesus gosh. Just, like, we're at the end of this podcast already. <laughs> oh, um, of the Avengers game that they released a trailer of at the start of 2017. Insane. Holy crap. Finally, let's get this... Mm thing please yeah, <sighs> after so many like oh it's gonna come it's it's finally actually might be happening they've actually yeah they've actually announced it because mm-hmm. we've always just speculated for the last few years we're like yeah. it's gonna happen gonna happen gonna happen we have an announcement for it it's actually happening yeah this and is and the important fact is that it's marvel's avengers which yes the spider-man game was marvel's spider-man yes. so whether that's like the way to tagline it into a single universe yeah which would be great, because uh, last year we saw a whole bunch of games just crossing over, like, companies crossing over their games. Yeah. Um, we had, uh, was it, I think Final Fantasy or something was in, um, yeah, it was. Final Fantasy was in Assassin's Creed. Yep. Uh, we had a whole bunch of different things in uh, Monster Hunter Worlds. Yep. 
Um, like we had our Horizon Zero Dawns and uh, like Street Fighters or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super weird. There was so many different uh, crossovers. Mm-hmm. So and then you've got I, your uh, what's the Enter the Gungeon and Zelda? Is that the one? Crypt of the Necro Dancer and Zelda have their crossover as well. Yeah. Ah, just Do so it. good. Uh, well, we might as well stay on Square Enix as well. Um, mm-hmm. They've revealed that there will be DLC for Kingdom Hearts announced. Um, Great. So that's exciting. I, I mean, it could be Avengers, because that's a Disney game. That's Disney sh- Disney company. Maybe oh, there's yeah. Avengers in the Kingdom Hearts. Just use the same models. You don't. Oh, would I play it, though? No, I wouldn't. Probably not. No, I don't think I'd bother. Um, I, I, just speculation here. Maybe Just Cause 5? Just Cause? I mean, might as well announce another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, one, one thing that I was thinking, uh, there was a lot of like things earlier this year about seemingly like Final Fantasy type game. That's right. There's like yeah. a Twitter account that got made and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it turns out from the looks of what that Japanese Twitter account was releasing, it seemed to just be like a mobile game, mm. but it was called The Last Idea instead of Final Fantasy. It's like they just got a thesaurus and they went, yep, there's our new game. It's Final <laughs> Fantasy, but, but... Here's our different words from this big ass thesaurus. Yeah, so I'm I'm sort of expecting maybe something from that about that, but yeah. it also looked very very Japanese, so maybe they won't do it because maybe it's Japanese exclusive. Um, and my my only other bit of speculation for Square Enix is maybe the Loud Man as a sequel to the Quiet Man. <laughs> <laughs> was... Oh, good. Why not? EA will be there in their weird usual spot, which is just outside of the convention, and there'll probably be people that are like, yeah, woo, we love games. Oh, look at this person over here. He's playing games. And you're like, please shut up and get to the conference. Uh, that'll, <laughs> that'll probably happen again. Um, we mm-hmm. have got confirmed Fallen Order, Star Wars game, uh, gameplay, good. which is exciting. Um, mm-hmm. I'm hoping for some pre-order bonus, like physical item reveals. That would be nice. Maybe the okay. lightsaber or something, or like a little box, something cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably they'll probably give a like big lore reveal, like something from the the expanded universes in this game to tantalize and tease people. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Hopefully. Um, sounds good. No sign of Anthem, as I said, which is very good. Wild. Um, and there was a financial report earlier this year which said there will be a new Need for Speed and a new Plants vs. Zombie game, which will probably be a new Garden Warfare game. Yes. So cool. that's probably it. Plus, probably sport. Lots of sport. Probably your sports. Yeah. Why not? Everyone loves sport games. Oh, yeah. Josh loves them. Everyone. I love them. I love working on them. Oh, I just can't wait to work on them. All the best games. Oh, yeah. Go buy cricket number seven right now. <laughs> yeah, please. Go buy a game. It's gotten pretty good reviews. Oh. Pretty much like all eights. Oh, that's very good. good. Cricket 19. Go grab it. We're reviewing it in two weeks. So oh, good. We'll it, it probably, I, from the sounds of what you guys said, probs won't get an eight. <laughs> probs up, but you know what might get a, the number you just said? Microsoft. Why would they get an eight? You never know. Uh, <laughs> I reckon they'll drop the Xbox 2 news, or at least confirm it exists. There have been so many leaks and stuff. Just say yeah, cool. it's real. Yep. As we know, no Sony. I reckon Sony will drop a uh, state of play thing the hour before Microsoft's panel. <laughs> and it will be, here's our PS5. Yep. Yeah, it'll be something um, like that. They'll just be dicks. Oh, yeah. They're going to do it. But, uh, yeah, Xbox mm-hmm. 2... Or whatever they'll call it, something dumb. Uh, they'll probably have to talk about the Project X Cloud now that Stadia exists. Yes. Might come back and talk a little bit about that. Make that sound mm-hmm. exciting. I, I just don't care about either of those things. Yeah. Halo Infinite gameplay release date. Maybe their big like you can get it in November. Like it might be their big like end of conference. Woo! Oh yeah, yeah, it could be. Maybe. Yeah. And uh, we had the Gears stuff as well. Yeah, Gears 5. There's Gears 5. Uh, I reckon there'll be a bit more on that. Mm. And did the um, did the Gears Pop thing ever come out? Yeah. It's on my phone. I haven't... I literally haven't opened it. It's been it's, on there for like four months. It's out? Only Android at the moment, I think. Ah, damn it. That's why. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm kind of expecting from Microsoft as well is last year they announced they bought out like a hell of a lot of indie companies. I reckon there's going to be a big indie section. Ooh. Yeah. Um, there'll probably be more from uh, 
uh, Campo Santo or whatever they're called. That sort of, I don't know, it was almost like an Aladdin-y, uh, Tomb raider Indiana Jones-y sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but more in the art style of your Firewatch. Yep. So I reckon we'll get more of that. And yeah, probably just a whole bunch of other indies because they just bought them all and are funding yeah. a lot of indie things, which is cool. Um, and they'll probably be a new Forza. Oh yeah, that makes sense. We forgot to mention there will probably be a Lego Star Wars complete saga saga game, which has episodes one through nine plus Solo, maybe Clone Wars, Rebels. Um, it's been leaked a while ago. One of the developers mentioned it at Star Wars Celebration, uh, and recently there's been a few other little leaks. So that'll probably be coming. That's my like second most excited game prediction for E3. We just totally forgot to mention it. So uh, I thought I'd pop in, let you know that, and also let you know. We're about to talk about Bethesda. Bethesda, um, and I feel like they're the most stable company that we can rely on for E3. Because they've always mm. got lots of cool... Like, Doom Eternal, there'll be some gameplay of that. Uh, maybe a release date. Um, a bit of Wolfenstein, that thing with these two oh, daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, there'll be a Skyrim joke that turns out to be real. Tesla, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. yeah, there'll be another big, like, panoramic, scenic shot of six, of Elder Scrolls six. They won't show any mm-hmm. gameplay. It'll just be another yeah. shot of something. Yeah, just to keep people excited for that mm-hmm. ten seconds that the trailer runs. Uh, and Starfield. I want some yeah, which I totally Starfield. forgot about. Mm. Hmm. Uh, I so, don't know. Maybe they will. Who knows? I feel like most of these games, well, at least the Elder Scrolls and Starfield, will probably be uh, next gen. Yeah. I would imagine maybe mm-hmm. Wolfenstein. I think Wolfenstein will come out, like, on current gen. Yeah. Probably, they'll probably get a remaster once mm-hmm. um, once the next one comes out as well. Well, I think with, like, the next gen, it's clear that there's, like, real easy backwards compatibility. So mm. maybe it's less a remaster and more the game works on that one. So buy either of them like yeah yeah that that's, could be i guess their get around thing that could be a thing with this uh this next gen which is just like your games will work on this one but mm. they're also like optimized for the next gen as well i feel i feel like that's where we're headed surely and where we're headed is ubisoft uh they have said Ooh, they're yes. skipping assassin's creed for a year but, but yeah one of the things i i had down was that um I reckon there'll be, like, something, like a DLC or something. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, they said they were sort of supporting it. For, yeah, because there's been that big spread of Odyssey DLC, so maybe more on that, I guess? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much just expecting more just within Odyssey. I think yeah. that'll happen. Like, there's the big rumours that Assassin's Creed Vikings is a thing, but I, I think they're going to legit hold off some Assassin's Creed stuff for this year. Like, a big new game. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But what about yeah. Watch Dogs 3 Vikings? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe not the Vikings part. Fine. But, uh, yeah, because Watch Dogs 2 has been ages. I know that didn't do well, but I feel like it's a franchise that they still want to use. Well, aren't you a clever little sausage, William? It has been officially revealed that Watch Dogs Legion will be the third game in the trilogy. Uh, the developers have said it on their Twitter. Um, there's a teaser in that there will be a full reveal at E3. Assumedly, uh, having confirmed that the game is coming out, this also confirms the rumour that it will be set in the UK. There's pictures, there's stuff about the place. Um, so, it's exciting. I'm keen. Let's hear what Josh has to say about a game that he didn't know existed yet. Joshua? I feel like a lot of games, they get a lot of flack when they're first released because they're a little bit buggy. Yeah. And because of my schedule, uh, a lot of these games I don't play for a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> and by the time I played it, I thought it was totally fine. I didn't play Watch Dogs 2. I have it. Yeah. I have the freaking collector's edition because it was about $50 from EB Games. Yeah, that's it's definitely a game I've wanted to jump into because... Yeah. It added a whole bunch of cool new things, and I liked the concept of the first one. There'll probably be a bit on the new Tom Clancy, probably a little bit on Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, yes. But the thing that I want m- the most from Ubisoft is Beyond Good and Evil 2 details, please. Oh, yes. More of that Ooh, game, yes. please. <laughs> I want to see actual gameplay. I want to see what you what we're actually doing in that game. I, f- I feel like that's probably what we'll get. Because it's always like, hey, look, there's something flying. Hey. This is vaguely what you'll look like when you're on the ground. But it's like, no, give us a full demo. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, they should probably mention Skull and Bones, because that's coming out. I mean, that game's kind of just... <laughs> what was Skull and Bones again? It was the, like, Assassin's Creed-esque uh, Sea of Thieves thing. Just, like, ocean stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's coming out this year, and they just haven't mentioned that since they talked about it like two E3s ago. Totally forgot that existed. Maybe that fills their Assassin's Creed slot. Whenever I talk to people about those like oceany Assassin's Creeds, the the ocean part always seems so divisive. Yeah, I don't like it. Most people hated it. Yeah, there's some people that absolutely love it, and apparently mm. enough to make a whole game based on it. Please, your demographic, however you must. Yeah, but um. What's uh what's CD Projekt Red doing? Like we we obviously had a fair bit over the last mm. well in the first six months of um the announcement of uh, Cyberpunk. Yep. Are they are they fitting in anywhere? No. It's very strange. They've said Ooh. they're not at E three. Nothing playable. And they've also said the game is going under big reworks, uh, which Ooh. worries me because these are basically. Like, I mean, we didn't get this till after the fact, but this is basically what happened to Anthem, where it was like, the devs were like, yeah, look at our game, it's so cool, and then someone high up was like, ah, maybe, maybe do something completely different. Um, and so it's a little bit of a worried moment now as to what's happening with that game. So hopefully it doesn't end up like Anthem, but it is one of those big high concept things that could get boiled down and turned into some sort of sludge that isn't that enjoyable. Yeah, because people have, like, dedicated their lives to that game already. Yeah. It's not even out. I I swear, yeah, people have, like, tattoos. They're already doing cosplays. And how how are people so dedicated to that game and we have, like, a trailer and a 45-minute something or other, which I haven't even watched yet? Worrying times for that. But the safest... (laughs) developers in uh, in this suite, which are not doing a conference, but will be doing their usual Ninties or X, is Nintendo. Um, they've said that it's going to be software only, but surely if everyone's like, here's our Xbox 2, here's our PlayStation 5, they're going to show off that both their cheaper and their most more powerful Switches that they want to bring mm. out. Surely they've got to show us that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know what else they can drop on us, because there's Sword and Shield, they'll probably give that a release date and probably some... Super Smash DLC, but apart from that, they've not really got much cooking. There's the Zelda remakes and remasters and stuff, but, like, nothing big seems to be going on. I think there's actually supposed to be a a Pokemon Direct Mm. in the next couple of days. Um, So we're probably going to get a lot of information about Pokemon then. Yeah. So what's left for E3? The fact they're releasing one amongst E3 means they have got something to say. Otherwise, you'd just not be there at all and drop it later. Unless they've got some stuff to do with, um, like, their collaboration with Xbox. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's, like, a, a big sort of announcement to do with that and things, like, crossing over and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's very yeah, strange. Yeah, I, I don't know. That'd be interesting. But, like, I, I mean, obviously they're not there, but what do you think a state of play that could possibly drop? What do you think they'd show off there for Sony and PlayStation? Maybe uh, um, Last of Us, yeah. more of that. Mm-hmm. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know what else is coming out this year. It's very strange. I'm so it's... lost this year. I don't know why. <laughs> I know, right? Well, th- so the PlayStation. The thing with the Last of Us is that people are thinking now that Death Stranding is in November, Last of Us will be next year's big exclusive game because it was supposed yeah, to okay. be this year. But it's like if Death, Death Stranding coming out in November, you're definitely going to push. There's nowhere for Last of Us to sit now. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so, okay. um. Maybe some mm. Spider-Man DLC for Far From Home. <gasps> Please. Maybe. Yes. But he's More a, of that. I mean, we don't want to brag on about Spider-Man, which is one of the best games of all time. But it's <laughs> we're at the place now with Spider-Man where it's like, what do you put in this one because you need stuff for the next one? Like, you can keep putting in like DLC costumes and stuff, but it's like, if you do that... That means that the ones when you put them when you put everything in the next game, you've then limited how many brand new things you can put in. So it's like, do they hold off Far From Home costumes for sequel? I don't know. Yeah, it's tricky. Like they could put a DLC where you play as Miles, but Miles could be like a huge thing for mm. the next game. Yeah. So it's tricky. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting thing. But you know, the Spider Man world is freaking huge. This is true. So. The Spider-Man multiverse. Yeah. So, you know, they could throw in so many things. Yeah, I think they just got to... 
probably play a little bit safe. Ah, uh, nah, let's just get weird. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Just give me weird stuff, come on. Uh, anniversary of Spider-Verse, they do a Spider-Verse DLC where you travel through the multiverse. There you go. That's yes. my, That's what they should do. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, guys listening to this that are from Insomniac, yep. do do what Will just said. You hear me, Brian Intahara? Take my words, make him a game. Thanks, guys. And other guys that we're thanking is our Discord crew, so we're going to dive into some of their thoughts. And they're a bit nerdier in the gaming realm than I feel like we even are, because they've yes. got some good ideas. Checkers, mm. first up, says, Honestly, I'm not too sure. Bad start. I wanted actual information. If I'm lucky, <laughs> Nintendo might have something on Shin Megami Tenesai 5, Exhibit A of a game that we've never heard of. It's been quite Never. <laughs> it's been quiet for the last few years since Persona got popular. Ah, I, I assume it's part of that universe. So, Or maybe just like another massive JRPG. This is true. Perhaps. Uh, yeah. Following on, if I'm really lucky, Sony... I don't know if Checkers knows who is not involved, but still, we could get state of plays and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sony with Sly Raccoon or Ratchet and Clank news, but since Insomniac only really just finished the mammoth that was Spider Man, I doubt it. Good point. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, a new game from that would be pretty cool. Yeah. What was the first one? Sly Raccoon. Yeah. What is that? Remember that one? Give it a good no. one. It's, it's, it's like of that era. Okay. Uh, if I'm really, really lucky. Team Sherry will announce Hollow Knight Silk Song release date. Checkers is a big fan of the Hollow Knights. Oh yes, and just like <laughs> keeps finishing that game in yeah, no. in all of the ways. Man, it's impressive and scary. It's amazing. Also, I'm kind of curious if Activision will do something with Crash after Crash Team Racing. That's a good point. Whether Ooh. we get some more Crash stuff. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe too close to Crash Team Racing actually coming out, but it would be cool to get a tease for. Some future crash stuff. Potentially, yeah. I'm I'm just looking at Sly Raccoon. I do not remember this at all. Interesting. <laughs> yep. Nah. That's Outside of your just era, possibly. Gone right over my head. And finally, oh oh oh, and EA, give me Garden Warfare 3, goddammit. And out of all the things you've said, I think that one is the most confirmed checkers. Yeah. I've never known anyone to play those games. <laughs> no, it's weird, but they are super it's popular. I mean, fasc- yeah. A- as the host of a children's show, I can tell you, people are very much into that game. That's so interesting. Mm. Yeah, cool. I remember playing a little bit of one of them. I feel like it was just the one on my phone or yeah. something. But yeah, interesting. That's cool. I feel like it has a similar following to Splatoon. Obviously, not the same kind of game, but similar in its kind of stylings. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, moving on to Halo 2020, Assassin's Creed Vikings, uh, as we said, they might skip it, but, you know, it might be their end of uh, conference big bash boom. <laughs> as we know, that's a huge game for people. PS5, maybe? <laughs> Border- oh, that's a good point. More Borderlands 3. We haven't gotten much for that game that's coming out this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Ooh, how could I forget? Elder Scrolls 6 might be there. It totally will be there as a screenshot, possibly. Yep. And as unlikely as it sounds, maybe Bioware will revive the Scrap Dragon Age Mage Heist game. That's interesting. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but it's probably something to do with Dragon Age. Yep. I, I like the idea, and, and it never happens, but yeah, what if what if some of these dev teams bring back the games that got cancelled? Because that generally never happens, but it would be a pretty big reveal if they're like, yeah, this is still happening now? G- hey! Yeah, let's bring back that Star Wars Uncharted game. Yes, along That'd with be uh, freaking sick. that other Star Wars game about the underbelly of Star Wars, which looked really good. I can't remember what it was called, but it was very good. And finally, the next Final Fantasy game could be touched on. I'm excited for them to go back to the pure fantasy roots. No cars? Yeah, okay. Maybe no cars and no, what was it, like just press and hold this button to attack. Yeah. It was mm. a little bit lame. Bad mechanics. <laughs> Less fission. Uh, speaking of fission... Infinite Schism has two of the letters from the word fission in the word infinite. Um, Very good. They'd be pretty happy with even a vague idea for release dates for Cyberpunk <laughs> mm. and uh, Final Fantasy VII Remaster, which we got a little bit more news on in the latest state of play. Still no idea when that's coming out. Uh, also, yes to Vikings Assassins. People want this thing. I'm, mm. I'm scared it's going to disappoint us all. It may, but... um. I'm surprised that so many of our Patreons want Assassin's Creed games. Totally. No one wants Assassin's Creed games but Josh anymore. No. <laughs> what is happening? No anyone finishing these things. 
Uh, there was also an amazing reveal for Alo that Dreams is actually out. Uh, yes. <laughs> I was like, did you watch my video? What's uh, what's going on? We made a video yeah. about this. Yeah, um, we did. And I made a review on the good games. I feel insulted. But uh, it is getting a full release at the end of the year, which may have been what uh, they meant, but they seemed surprised that it was playable. So yeah. if you didn't know, Dreams is playable. <laughs> There you go. Go play it and go watch our video first and then go play it. Yeah, and then and then watch Spawn Point 1 and then play it again. Yeah. Uh, Classy Badoof uh, is hoping for Nintendo to do its It's Releasing Now for Cadence of Hyrule, which I assume you're vaguely excited for. Yes, yeah. That's the Crypt of the Necrodancer Zelda game. That does feel like a game that could be like, it's come, it's available now or at least a demo is available now on the Switch store or uh, yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. I feel like it'd be something like that, but man, am I bad at Crypt of the Necrodancer. <laughs> I can't even get past level one. Oh, Joshua. It's so hard. Aren't you supposed to have rhythm? Apparently. <laughs> it's just it's just the bosses. My rhythm is mm. fine. The bosses are... I just... I can't wrap my head around it. It's a very different sort of game. I haven't played many rhythm games for a while, and mm. this is... Or Dungeon Crawlers. Um, I, I never play these types of games, so... This is like, I'm just diving into a whole new realm here. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll need to get some uh, tips off Classy Bidoof. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can get used to the game for the Zelda one, because I feel like you need to play that. That's why I'm playing this one. Yeah. (laughs) So that I get used to it and I can just go straight into the Zelda one and play all the tunes. Uh, Someone who slipped straight in with a big old much of notes is Dolphin Pants, Lucas Coombe, as per usual. Uh, Last minute. (laughs) He gave us a bit. Uh, starting with PlayStation, so assumedly on the state of play, new original Crash game. So someone else was on that, that mindset, which is interesting. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Tekken X Street Fighter is revealed to still be in development. These, he's, he's saying these as things that might happen. Tekken X Street Fighter is revealed to still be in development and has a gameplay trailer. That's another mm-hmm. game crossing thing, as we were saying. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, one that I hadn't even thought of, because I feel like they've got their hands full, Naughty Dog, but a new Uncharted spin-off game, possibly. Ooh, yeah. Which I would not say no to. Oh, absolutely. And finally, in the PlayStation department, a new PlayStation All-Stars, which I don't think anyone's expecting. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be amazing. What a, what a, imagine if that's the PlayStation 5 launch title. <laughs> oh, man. PlayStation All-Stars 2! <laughs> yeah, imagine that. It'd just oh be God. like your Aloys and your Joel and your... They've got enough new people to put in, but I mean... Yeah, they really do. Spider-Man. <laughs> yep, yep. Sackboy and Tearaway Boy. Yes, Tearaway Boy. We're mm. good. Uh, Microsoft Front, Gears of War 5, as we as we have said. Halo, as we've said. Forza, the sports of games. That's true, Microsoft does have a few sports of games. They uh, do... And a new, uh, I mean, Lucas clearly wants new versions of old stuff, a new Banjo-Kazooie game, and also include a Smash Bros. reveal trailer for Banjo-Kazooie to be in the game. That would be, that'd be cool. That would be cool, yeah, that's been a rumour that's been going for a little while, Mm. hey. Yeah. Hmm. So, that's cool. Uh, And Samurai comes on stage, I'm sure that's relevant to something, unless he means an actual Samurai. Samurai comes on stage. Hmm. We're good with games. EA, sports, is all that Lucas has said here, which is, it's true. They do that. Yep. All them sports. So much sports. Uh, Ubisoft, a new Just Dance, which I hope they don't because I don't want to have to do that for good game, but, you know, (laughs) probably will. Mm -hmm. Uh, And finally, having it out with Nintendo, rare replay port on the Switch. That'd be, that's where that should live. That would be pretty cool, yeah. That'd be good. I think that's all the Switch. It should just be a machine for old games. (laughs) Yeah, That's I reckon I feel so. like the Switch just works for the best. Old games and your indies. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely works well for them. Uh, new Star Fox game, that'd be cool. Uh, I feel like he was the only big successful part of uh, Starlink. So, a new Star Fox sounds good. Yeah, just make it better than whatever the last one was on the Wii U. Oh, that thing, that's good. that thing was a mess. Oh, that man. That was a tank. Yeah. Of the worst kind. Hmm. Uh, Nintendo Online getting SNES games, which would be very interesting. Yes, yeah, um, let's upgrade. Maybe that's a thing. Mm. Get more games. Expand that to your SNES and your your Game Boys and stuff. That'd be great. Mm. Mm. Yes, good choice. Mother 3? He needs a third mother? That's a weird <laughs> request in the Nintendo section. Yeah. Uh, new Donkey Kong and new F-Zero. So Lucas just wants new versions of old games, and I think that's all nerds want, so Pretty much. I feel like that's all we really want. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
But that's all the comments from our patrons. Again, if you want to join this discussion, jump on over to patreon.com slash each to their own. Just any money, and you hop on into our Discord and be part of the discussion. Yes, and thank you to all of our uh, Patreons and Discordians for uh, pitching in there. Because that was really good. There yes. was some stuff that Will didn't, uh, Will and I didn't know about and hadn't thought of. So, no, awesome. Now I'm, I'm intrigued to see who wins. Yes. Mm. Thanks, gang. Uh, speaking of gangs, have you joined any in the last week? What have you been up to, Josh? What have I... Oh, man. I've been so busy. Uh, yeah. We we hang out. We we played brothers. We did. As many people think that we are brothers. Yeah, But apparently. we are not. Um, no. And then uh, hung out uh, on most of your live stream. A whole bunch of your live yes. stream, which was great. You ruined... Because, see, what I do on the live streams is I get as close to an adult joke as I can, but it just flies by because... Gog is like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna laugh at that to break well, but you just laughed at every one of them, and I was like, I can't ride through these, Joshua. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was very fun, though. Mm, yeah, it was good. It that was, was good. That's archived on the Good Game channel. If you don't want to check it out, just search DGSP, uh, and it'll be that YouTube channel. There you go. Um, yep, still just reading through uh, Superior Spider-Man, mm-hmm. and uh, over the next week... Uh, we will be reading and having a bit of a chat over on the uh, comic book club group um, about the X-Men Dark Phoenix series back in the yes. 80s, I think, like 83, 84. Yep. So have a bit of a read. It's on uh, Marvel Unlimited. We haven't plugged that for a little while. Um, <laughs> but yeah, grab Marvel Unlimited or you can probably just find it online. Just sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, you can read comicsonline.com if you want. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, have have a chat to us about that, and then uh, yeah, we'll chat about what you guys chat about. And we'll also be chatting, chatting. We'll, we'll be chatting. We'll be chatting, and we'll also be chatting about the movie next week as well. So if you are in the Discord, or if you're not yet, and you didn't become part of the Discord, um, we'll be chatting about the film. So if you have thoughts on the film, talk to us about the film. Please do. How about you, man? What are you, what are you doing? What am I doing? Um, I've just finished my review for uh, the Spawn Points for next Monday, which will be on Pokemon Rumble Rush, which is a very good mobile game. Um, I'm not a Pokemon person. Yeah, I'm definitely downloading that like right now. Yeah, you need to. Like As a non-Pokemon person, I found it a great experience. Um, it's free. Microtransactions don't feel necessary. Uh, play without the music because it's irritating chip tunes, but that's just Pokemon. Yep. Um, I've also been reading all the things that I've been buying because that's what you're supposed to do with comics, sure. Joshua. Uh, I've been reading. Uh, there's like three different Spider-Man series. There's like three different Guardian series. Black Cat the series starts this week. There's just a lot of things that I'm trying to keep in my brain, but uh, really good runs in the comics at the moment. So. Uh, if you want to jump on board, my recommendations would probably be the current Guardians of the Galaxy series, the Amazing Spider-Man series that just finished, the Hunted run, was actually... There was a story that started out that I was like, oh no, these are the big events things that I thought we weren't doing anymore, but it's ended in such a way that I was I was well shook, yeah. as I believe the youth Yeah, say. I, I saw your, um, your Instagram uh, story about it, and I'm yep. super intrigued because you were not happy when that started no i did not want it to be happening um so yeah check out those and spider-man life story for sure oh yeah oh yeah we're gonna be doing a big comic book club uh wrap up on that when it's all over but oh man please go out find those comics Mm -hmm. they're fantastic it'll be there'll be a collection of them at some point as a graphic novel as well trade paperback thing but um oh they're great uh and two last things i've just legally 100 percent downloaded uh good omens which is a new show with david tennant michael sheen john ham benedict cumberbatch very excited to dive headfirst into that it was an amazon show so all the episodes are out wow so i might even do a review of that once they've absorbed them all yeah i was wondering when that was going to come out yep and it has it's all out uh jessica jones is out soon as well and one last thing that i've been doing is playing a bit of beat saber because that's a hit full access and we've got a a few oculus things at work um and it's still as smooth and great as ever god i love that game so much it's so much fun it's stupid fun and i hope this was stupid fun if you want more stupid fun that you can see you can jump on over to youtube.com slash each to their own basically put in any address uh, and then go slash each to their own, and you'll probably be able to find Yeah, us. there'll be something there. MySpace. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. But until the next one of these, 
Mm, well, out. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not even going to try it. Josh out. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I went to say me out. <laughs> <laughs> Will out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good. <laughs>